Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called 1917. This is a 2019 film. It is rated R and it runs two hours. It's directed by Sam Mendes. It stars Andrew Scott, Mark Strong, Richard Madden. The description Sam Mendes, the Oscar winning director of Skyfall, Spectre, and American Beauty, brings his sing singular vision to the World War I epic. At the height of the First World War, two young British soldiers, Schofield and Blake, are given a seemingly impossible mission. In a race against time, they must cross enemy territory and deliver a message that will stop a deadly attack on hundreds of soldiers, Blake's own brother among them. This is 1917. Well, yes, this is a 2019 film. Sadly, it's out in theaters in 2020. And a lot of people have seen this. A lot of people have been able to see the preview of when it became out in select theaters. It did win some awards already in 2020. Uh, so it's kind of a confusing on the, the year of the movie. But we're going to call this a 2019 film because that's what it says. So... I did see this in theater in 2020 when it got released, and uh, I had already heard all the hubbub about it. A lot of people had it on their best of 2019, best of the year list, and uh, so I had to hear all that uh, going in, and so obviously there are expectations, obviously there's a, you know, a vision of what to expect, and uh, you know we're expecting certain things or we're disappointed, right? So, I will say that <clears throat> I'm not going to be putting this on anybody's best list of the year. I'm just not. Uh, it's not that I heard things. It's just what I thought of the movie. And I think we need to be a little bit realistic. And I think the people that put it on their best of the year list maybe we're so excited that they were able to see it first or something. I just don't know. I'm not sure what people take away from movies that I don't. But, you know, I'm dumbfounded sometimes. Like last year, my big one was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I just I just don't understand what people saw in that movie. So this one I differ from critics and people that are following this movie and everything else. Um, just because... The feel of the movie is slow. It's exciting. It has action. It has a storyline. has characters. But it's just a journey movie. And you have to go along on this journey. And yes, things are tense. And yes, things are exciting. But I just, I don't know. You know, when you're along for a journey movie, there are a million different versions of them. Whether it be scary or interesting or an epic war story, you know, just there's all kinds of journey movies and they always just have one point and that's if we get to the end of the movie. And when you have a two hour movie and you have some scenes that drag, uh, it makes the two hours feel longer. It just does. And, uh, you know, I, I think everybody in my theater felt that even though we were appreciating what the movie had in it, we just we know that there's slow moments in this and it really does drag and it really does seem unnecessary at some points and it's just what it is you know i mean we could talk about if stuff was real or not but good gosh you know if all those were scenes and none of it was cgi at all awesome you know you know total credit to the movie for Having lots of dead bodies and, you know, all this uh, war stuff. And, you know, you just imagine what it used to take these people to put sandbag, sandbag upon sandbag and dig these trenches and these underground places. And, you know, it's just amazing to even think about more or less watch for two hours. So it's really an epic tale, but that's what it is, is a tale. And I really think it dragged at a lot of different points and... I think that's the fair thing to say, 
that people who are in love with this movie are not saying. So, yes, there's other good things. Um, the actors were fine. They could have used more personality. Um, we only get Colin Firth for, like, you know, two minutes, and then that's it. Um, we get some people along the way, which at points feel awkward. But other than that, uh, everybody did fine. They were soldiers. They were people talking about stuff that war has. Um, I have not had a chance to check on the credibility of this movie yet, but I'm wondering about the flashlights and I'm wondering about the watch, uh, when those were invented. But someday I'll look those up, but those are the things I'm kind of wondering about. And, um, you know, I just, I don't know. Like, it's, it's hard watching a movie like this and lots of movies like this where there's no real great actor the whole time. You know, you're entrusting these people that are just the right fit for the tale that you have. And, you know, the rest of the world has to either care or not care. And I don't know what, sometimes these kind of dull looking characters with no personality just kind of didn't do much for me, I guess. So, you know, it's minimal criticism I have for this when you're watching this. You know, you kind of wonder, you know, what's next. You will kind of wonder what's coming. Um, I'm not so on board with everybody who said, oh, wow, this is a continuous story, you know, where you, you just follow them for two hours. Um, I do feel like there are places where it blacked out or they said, oh, let's go down this hallway. And at that point, you could have a break you know, in filming and say stop and take a break and all that stuff. So I thought it was going to be more like, you know, like a video game where it's just continuous storyline the whole time, and it wasn't that. So minimal criticism, really enjoyed the movie, the the action sequences, the planes, everything was really great, uh, totally advisable. I'm not planning on watching this again, so I didn't want to give it, you know, the best grade possible uh, with the little bit of criticism I have that's very founded. And, uh, but I can suggest to watch it because it's amazing. It has a lot of amazing stuff in it. It has an amazing story. It's, uh, you know, it's amazing to think about, you know, and movies that are amazing to think about should drive you crazy and should make you think about them for more than a day, right? So I'm appreciating what I watched while being founded and not being so in love with it as much as ever the people. So I'm going to give 1917 a B plus, the highest I can go without giving an A because I just don't, I just cannot envision myself watching it again. And I think it'll make sense if you watch it too. Um, it just seems like a one-time experience kind of a thing. It just does. So B plus for 1917. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them watched. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.